when when Hong Zhan uh, said he wanted to do a translation of it, uh, I had done uh, I had previously done published translations of Chinese literature, in particular uh, the first volume of Xia Yi Ying Xiong Zhuan, which is Tales of Chivalrous and Altruistic Heroes, uh, a wuxia book that was written about a hundred years ago. Um, and I, you know, I was training with Hong Zahan. Uh, he and I are, share a lot of similar interests. Uh, I enjoyed reading the chapters of his book that I had seen, but it was a huge undertaking. I mean, it's a, the, the Chinese edition was over 500 pages long. The English edition would certainly be, you know, that long or longer. Um, and it was something that had to be done right. And, and it took me a couple of years, frankly, uh, after I retired to complete the translation. Um, and Hong Zahan and I would frequently meet, uh, go through chapters. I would try to understand uh, the nuance of the language he was using, um, as well as, you know, sometimes he, he would be describing techniques uh, you know, a fight between his father and, and somebody else. And uh, describing fights in, in any language is not easy. Translating it into another language, also not easy. So we would sit down and I would say, okay, what was it he was doing? And then I would try to figure it out and then scope it out. And, and hopefully the, the translations are, are lucid. Um, About uh, a year and a half ago, we had finished the translation, and I encouraged Hong Zahan to add some chapters because the original book ended on a very sad note with his father's passing away um, and didn't give the reader uh, any sense for the continuation of, of his father's practice. Um, and. Hong Zahan had been writing regularly, blogging on, on Facebook and so on, and some of those chapters, some of those thoughts, some of those sketches that he had written then became uh, a uh, fodder for these additional chapters. Um, we then uh, had it edited by one of our students, um, Thomas Argiro who is a professor of English, and uh, dressed it up. Uh, and then we um, had to make the decision, do we try to find a publisher, or do we do self-publish? Uh, and we were very pleased when uh, YMAA Publications uh, expressed interest in the book. And we've been working with them the past year to uh, complete the process and launch it to the world and we hope you will all enjoy it. It's, it's a labor of love, um, but uh, deeply touching, deeply moving, filled with humor, filled with, with passion and grief, um, but also embedded with lots of lessons uh, uh, for people who are deeply interested in training martial art, whether it's Okinawan Karate or Japanese Koryu Fujitsu or Chinese Kung Fu um, or people who have actually been exposed to uh, Yizong Tang Shou Dao's system that was transmitted and handed down by Master Hong. It's a great book and we hope you'll enjoy it.